This is the uh, book of Revelation, chapter uh, 3 and verse 10. It says, Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world, to try them that dwell upon the earth. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praise to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Yahweh, which is the name of the Most High, and Yahweh Shai, which is the name of the only begotten Son, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Um, name of this video is going to be the Hour of Temptation, which is which is what? All right, just off the start, we'll, we'll ask that question. What is the Hour of Temptation? And the answer to that question is the um, the Hour of Temptation is the uh, the time at the mark of the beast is um is you know pretty much out here on the forefront man okay the mark of the beast which is the uh the implantable microchip under the skin or rfid microchip all right um so we're we're coming to that time man all right we're coming to the the time of this uh of this great tribulation man all right of this great hour of temptation which the hour of temptation is um synonymous with the um with the great tribulation or also can be called uh jacob's trouble um as it says in the book of um uh, daniel the 12th chapter right there should be a time of trouble like never before right but he shall be delivered out of it right we're gonna be we're gonna be delivered out of it man all right we're gonna be delivered out of it and we we gotta have faith that we're gonna be delivered man Okay, because that's what this all comes back to at the end of the day, man. Okay, because you know, scriptures say that, uh, you know, our righteousness is, um, you know, as filthy rags, man. Okay, all all our, you know, say honorable, you know, works and, you know, the works that we, you know, do. It's really all, you know, it's really all nothing compared to, you know, how... Let's just say the righteousness that the Lord, you know, would require, all right? None of us can truly, you know, achieve such a, uh, may I say, achievement, all right? But you know what? That's where faith comes in, all right? Because, you know, um, the truth is, man, that, you know, none of us are, are really worthy of receiving salvation. It's just a free gift from the, uh, you know, from... The Most High, right? He sent His Son, uh, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls, you know, Jesus Christ, to, uh, you know, come and, you know, take the punishment of, you know, the sins for the nation of Israel. And that's, uh, what is that, Isaiah, the 53rd chapter, right? He was bruised for our transgressions, right? And while we were all sinners, He he died for us, right? And, and that's and that's the, the magic of it all, man. Okay, why we were all Sinners, right? Where we were all sinners, Christ or Yahweh Shai, He took our punishment for us, man. All right. Now, yeah, I know it is. Um, it is true that um, the scriptures say that the Lord hates sinners. Uh, what is that? Ecclesiasticus uh, twelve and six. For the Lord hates sinners. All right. Up Psalms five and five. The foolish shall not stand in thy sight. Thou hatest all workers of iniquity. Just to name a few, because you got um. You know, you got Christians out there that are saying that, uh, you know, that the Lord, uh, you know, loves the, uh, the sinner, but hates the sin, which we clearly see that's not true. There's no verse in the, uh, you know, in the skip cheese, inside joke. There's no verse in the skip cheese that says that the, uh, the Lord, uh, hates the sin, but loves the sinner. Okay, that's not, that's not in the scriptures. It's just a, uh, that's an American doctrine. That's the doctrine of the Catholic Church. Which is what the false prophet, okay. But anyway, getting back to uh, you know, the name of the video is uh, you know, we're coming into the the time, man. Okay, we're coming into the time of the hour of temptation, man. Okay, which we're all going to be tried, man. All right? As I, as I read the scripture, it shall come upon all the earth. All right, we're all going to be tried, man. Okay, every one of us is going to be tried. Okay, now different. You know, brothers are going to be tried at different levels. Okay, some brothers might have to be put to death. Some brothers might have to be, you know, put in concentration camps. Some brothers, you know, might, uh, you know, might be relatively easy for them to get through, you know, these, these hard times. 
Okay, but you know that's yet to be determined, man. Okay, but you know, just to put it out there, man. You know, you got all these other, you know, groups out there like um, what is that? L U Y C. You know, plan on having their, you know, their their barbecue get-togethers and you know their their Passovers. You know, just singing and dancing, having a great time. We're we're not in that time, man. Or this isn't the time to just be having all types of fun, man. Okay, now I'm not saying that um. You know, you're going off if you, you know, enjoy yourself every once in a while. No, that's, I'm not saying that. Okay, you can enjoy yourself. You know, as a matter of fact, the scriptures say that, um, you know, it's the Lord's pleasure to, for a man to, um, you know, enjoy the fruits of his labor. All right, so, um, you know, I'm not saying that you're not supposed to enjoy yourself whenever you're able to. That's the good thing. Um, but, you know, the point of the matter, man, especially... Dealing with the Passover, which the Passover, I believe, what is that? That's in, um, I'll let's see, what is that? I believe that's, uh, uh, Exodus, the 12th chapter, all right? That it talks about the, um, the Exodus out of Egypt. Now, when you read that, right, what happened was, um, you know, they had to eat the, uh, the lamb in haste, okay? They had to eat in haste, right? Or for lack of better words, the word haste just means, um, you know, quickness or swiftness, all right, or quickness, all right, for a lack of better words, okay, they had to eat in a hurry, they didn't have time to, uh, you know, sit around and, you know, have a, you know, good-ass time with, you know, you know, sing and dance with, with everybody, no, they ain't, they ain't got time for that, man, okay, they had to, you know, hurry, man, they had to hurry with, uh, you know, with the Passover, you know, back in that, those days, man, right, we're talking, you know, let's see, we're talking about three and a half thousand years ago, all right, so under, under four thousand years ago, but over three and a half thousand, all right, is when, you know, that story took place, which, by the way, um, if anybody was interested, the, uh, the Mount Sinai, right, or the mountain of God, right, where Moses got the, uh, the Ten Commandments, that's actually located over in um, Saudi Arabia. Okay, a matter of fact, there's documentaries on YouTube. Uh, one of them is um, by an individual named uh, uh, Juan Ron Wyatt. All right, you can uh, look that up yourself. It's a very good video, very educational. Um, but, you know, get back to the name of the video. Is hey, look, man, we're coming into those times, man. Okay, things are going to be very difficult, man. Okay, hey, look, you know, as I said, you thought 2020 was bad, man. 2020, 2021, as you know, like, damn, man. It's just going <laughs> to, it's just going to keep getting worse, man. Okay, the world will never be going back to normal, man. All right, this is the new normal. All right, there is never going to be a bouncing back for this place, man. All right, there is no bouncing back for America. This is it, man. All right, or, or, and as, uh, what's that guy? Just like, um, you know, the last words of, uh, of Rudy McNutt, you know, before he shot himself in the head with the, you know, the high-powered hunting rifle. He said, hey, guys, this is it. Right, well, you know, he said, I guess that's it. But, you know, other guys... Will say this is it, right? Or as you know, his last words, "Hey guys, this is it," right? Which it is true, man. You can apply those to now, right? This is it, all right. We're we're at the the point now, man, where there's no there's no turning back. Okay, there's no way to, you know, stop what is going on in the world right now. What what is going on? The um. You know, what, what people would call, you know, the New World Order, right? Which really, it's truthfully the Lord's most, you know, the most high, uh, Yehoah, Bashem, Yehoshai. It's really his New World Order, man. Right? The scriptures tell you that the Lord made this world for many, but the world to come for a few, right? So it's the Lord's plan to get rid of a vast majority of the, uh, you know, the peoples that are on the earth, Right? Why? Because they're, they're, you know, they're the wicked. All right. But anyway, 
you know, I'm, I'm not going to make this video too long. You know, I just want to, you know, say a few words on that. And, um, you know, yeah, you know, if anybody wants to, you know, share anything down below, you know, you're well, certainly welcome. Anyway, with that being said, I want to say shalom.